Okay, playing as black. It's a 15 minute, 10 second game. Rapid game. I uh, put a little note for myself to say be be ready for a free gift. Just based on the recent evaluation, the smallest of details. Got to look for them, and it, it's not about capturing pieces. It's um, it, it is also that, but it's also about a free gift could be a good position on the board or um, chasing down a smaller piece, trapping it, and improving your position. Or chasing down a higher piece, trapping it, not necessarily capturing it, and to improve your position. So all those types of things are free gifts as well, as well as capturing pieces that are left unprotected. So all of those sort of things I'm trying to work on uh, in my game. So I, it's all based on evaluation, so it's always good to evaluate games and take action on them as well. So I do like doing this. I know it's frowned upon, but hey, I like it. Don't mind bringing this pawn into the centre. Okay, it's not a fan. Let's grab. Keep that simple. And let's castle. All simple strat. That's going that pawn, obviously. And let's just give the bishop a touch. Everything's simple at this moment in time. Knights hunt the bishops. Don't need to overthink it. And it is a kind of free gift, so we'll take the bishop. So there's nothing contesting, so now our knight doesn't have any protection. So you can envisage their knight is going to probably move back so that the rook can actually attack it. It's not actually doing that. It's giving us space to go here, but he's wanting to elevate his pawn, his knight, sorry. So I have to be careful because it could have been a set plan of sorts. Uh, be, 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 be. I think just taking knight takes bishops on the both knights, but then his rook is on our knight, so we have to be careful of that. I think I'm going to move the knight first. I'm going to move the knight first because behind it, obviously, it's going to try and get it back for free. So they have taken, I'm going to take with the bishop because it's got a nice diagonal towards the weak pawn next to the king. Okay, so their knight is protecting this square at the minute. Their knight is also challenging this pawn. I was looking at bringing the knight here, attacking their knight. See if we could get rid of it. If the knight takes, queen takes, then it's in front of this pawn. It's a bit obvious. Um, we could touch onto the knight, see what it wants to actually do. So it seems to have just jumped into the middle of nowhere, but you never know. I think if we push, we're also making space here for a momentary check on the king, either with the bishop or the queen. But where does he really want to go with this knight? Let's see what he wants to do. Okay, so we could pin the knight to the king. Or we could attack like we said. I'm going to attack the knight and see what happens. This knight's not out yet, but I don't think it's needed to jump just yet. So it does take. So I'm going to grab here. That's an obvious move, but if it misses it, we can take it. Uh, it's good, but do we get a cigar for it or not? So check. King moves. King safe for now. Bishop can go here, but his knight is still there, so the bishop can put a check on now. Then he goes into the corner, then we don't have that. Okay, so we could take the pawn first. Take the pawn first, get the check. Uh, bring the bishop here for a check. I suppose the pawn drops onto the bishop then. And 
the queen does also have this type of situation doesn't it okay let's look at that check king moves queen comes down attacking the knight but obviously the king is going to move so the rook is going to be on the queen uh, so they move onto a white square so we can dance a little bit with a check on the king they move a little bit here could put a check on the king again rook's not going to take because he'll get taken hmm looks a bit oh and we do have the rook actually facing off the king as well if it's making its way across let's give it a try one don't think i'm too big a fan of this one when the pawn getting blocked He could just keep going backwards and forwards though as well, could he? Okay, drops. Queen here. Then we'll have a two on one, but he's got like the knight as well. could shoe the knight but because our queen isn't under attack at the minute if we shoot the knight where are we sending it to we block here don't they know we we'll take hmm. let's see what he does it's probably just going back again maybe he's not going to take the chance to go across here we shall see though Oh no, it's going for exchange, but we are a piece up, aren't we? A minor piece up. So we could dance around trying to attack him. Could actually bring this, but he still can do that. Bishop takes again. Although he could just move his king and then he's still supported. What do we want to do? Fancy or just simple and direct and just take it off the board? Take it off the board, bring the bishop here. Fancy dancy. Queen check. Queen comes back up. Bishop check, pawn drops. Hmm. Bishop check. Pawn drops. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for fancy. Let's see what happens. Let's put the check on. Pawn drops. We said, didn't we? Yep. Then we take the knight with a check. way too arty for me free pawn but uh, at this current state we don't really want to be doing any of that so i'm happy to trade now if he's looking to offer but he might not now he might say well stuff you he might just dance around with his king now yeah yeah going well if you didn't do it last time okay so shall we bring the knight into the game now yep He's off, off on his trails. We could take the pawn, but I'm just going to put a check again. And again, we could still just take the pawn, but I'm not interested in that. So he's trying to stop all the areas where we can put checks. So I'm going to attack his rook, looking to reduce down if we can. It's got my knight with that maneuver. It's got my knights. 
queen cat going to attack a white square. But I think if he takes my knight, I can take his rook if I take this pawn. With a check on his king. So I think he's going to just uh, come here to win the tempo. He's not done that. Gives us a bit of breathing space, doesn't it? Let's go and attack the queen. There's nothing worse than an advancing knight looking to get into some situation. Can't really go there just yet, but Rook attacking the queen. Need to get onto a white square, queenie. Can't even go here. Do you know my queen feels like it's getting trapped? What's he doing attacking here? Get my queen out of here. Can't, can't get it out of there. Onto a white square. Get it onto a white square. Tasty pawn. Go, go munching. So we've got, we can get the queen off the board, so that'll be okay for us then, trading down, but this pawn here is going to drop, isn't it? Bit of, bit of collateral damage, I suppose, it won't hurt us, will it? Let's go here. Oh, let's take... Oh, lost the rook. Okay, let's stop the king from getting up that half and then we can start ramping these pawns up a bit. Okay, let's let the opponent resign. Interesting game. 